Sup guys, Heat King here bringing you a manga review on this week's Black Clover chapter 332. Black Clover is back after three months. First of all, I want to apologize for sounding a bit weird and not having uploaded uh, some recent reviews because I have been sick and I am still sick. So yeah, I'm actually struggling to do this, but uh, you know, screw it. Black Clover's back, and I wanna I, I wanna review it. So I wanna read this new chapter. So let's let's just let's just go right for it. And uh, yeah, before I start, guys, remember to like and subscribe, please. And yeah, uh, we're starting final decoration, decoration, final decoration. Okay, here we go, final arc, guys. Okay, so it looks like we're starting with a message by um, the uh, creator Tabitha. Is it? Um, I guess we should read it. <clears throat> uh, dear readers, Black Clover has been absent for about three months. I'm happy to announce that the series is now resuming without any issues. Okay. The break went by in the blink of an eye. Did it though? It felt very slow to me. <laughs> but we've been given it 110% to ensure that the final arc will exceed your hopes and expectations. That's good. That's good to know. It's very, it's very interesting to know that uh, that uh. They took a break just to figure this out. Like that's nice. Like I, I like I like that. I, I I don't know. Do more do more manga writers do this? Like it would be kind of smart to do that. Like I think Oda did this right, but he did it. He he, he took like a month break in it. But you know, it'll be it'll be nice to see it, see this kind of thing more afterwards. Like where you, where creators take a break. It's like okay, we've we reached the final arc or the final saga. Okay, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna come back. Um, from here on, Asta and his friends will face even tougher challenges on his quest to become the Wizard King. We also have an anime movie in the works. I'll do my best to not let the difficulties of weekly serialization get to me. So I look forward to your continued support. Yeah, he's been he's been getting a bit depressed when he's been doing his little work, and uh, he's been pointing out, and you know, we've been we like, dude, relax. We, we we got you, okay? We still like you. It doesn't matter, you know, etc. etc. Um, obviously, it is tough. This job is very very tough. I like the fact that he got to take a three month break to do this, so it's nice. Um, yeah. What, what more can we do? Thank you from the bottom of our hearts to all the readers who kindly waited for our return during this long hour. Hey, hey, yes. Go. Cool. Thank you to you. And hopefully this is going to be an amazing arc going forward. Or saga. I'm assuming it's saga because we're going to have like mini arcs and that. You know, to be fair, the last the last saga was only like two arcs. Whereas the previous saga was like eight arcs. So, you know, it's very random to figure out what's what, do you know what I mean? Curious to see, curious to see how this is all going to come together. So we're getting this big panel, color panel of Asta and uh, Yuna. Res what is this? Uh, serialization resumes. I have to read from this side. Uh, serialization resumes and Frost begins the road to the ultimate Wizard King arc with a central color page to boot. So ultimate, the road to the ultimate Wizard King arc. So that's the name of the arc. Taking the first step on the path that leads to the Wizard King. Okay. Chapter 332 again, final declaration. Uh, here we go. The seventh layer of the underworld. So we're coming to the seventh layer, and there's that's interesting. We're going straight to the underworld, and there's Lucifero, his corpse, if you will, and there's Lucius on top of him. What is going on here? And there's like this sort of clock beneath Lucifero there. I don't know what's going on. And uh, you fool, I may have lost half my body, but I am still the king of devils, Lucifer. So Lucifer appears to be alive, but they're in the seventh layer of hell. How the hell does that work? He, he, he went to the seventh layer, but he lost his heart. So so devils don't die when they go back to hell? What's going on? After hunting Osta and his friends in the Spade Kingdom, Les Lucifer loses. Just who is this man? I possess the most powerful magic in the world. That's right. However, so we see Lucifer's heart, like it's in his chest, but what's going on? He's taken out. In this world, the ones who are superior at using magic are us humans. So he's taking the heart. Lu Lucius is taking Lucifero's heart. And then we cut to this panel next to it that says Munch. So I'm assuming Lucius just uh, just ate Lucifero's heart. He ate the devil he ate the devil king's heart. Um I'm getting I'm getting like uh goosebumps. That's that's creepy. That's creepy. Why does he need to eat the heart? Does he get Lucifero's abilities? Is Lucifero dead now? How is he in the seventh layer of the underworld? None of this makes any sense. I don't get it. 
So then we cut to like this uh, panel shot of, of the world, I think, uh, like the mountainside area. And then we cut into the town. And yo, we got a time skip. We got a time skip. Wow, uh, one year and three months after the battle in the Spade Kingdom. That's a second time skip. Uh, I think the first time skip was what, three, three or six months? This one is one year and three months. That's funny that Evo put the three months in there, like, yeah. So, you, that's a good joke I made as well, like, online. It's like, yeah, we waited one year and three months. <laughs> like, oh, it's been one year and three months? Wow, it only felt like three months to me. <laughs> um, so now we're cut into the city, and now we're cut into... I think we're cut into the phone room, and then we see it from Oster's back. And now, let the special Extraordinary Merit Award and Ceremony for Oster of the Black Bulls commence. So we're seeing from Oster's back, we're seeing Yami in the crowd, we're seeing some other characters there. I think there's like six, it must be the captains, I think there's at least six or seven captains there, I think, I'm assuming. And then we're seeing, uh, as we're going down the panel, we see we see Oster's family, you know, the religious, you know, the, the, the priest, uh, the sister there his little brothers and sisters and we see some of the other characters that I think from the Black Bulls maybe I could be I don't know I think that I think there's there's Vanessa there's Nero uh, uh, there's uh, what's her name oh god I forgot all the characters names I forgot all the characters names how do I forget all the characters names ah uh, how the hell do I this is what happens you don't read for you don't watch or read for three months you forget every characters names but uh, okay, it, it's just some of these crew, I guess. Uh... Wow, how? Wow, I'm I'm sorry. I need to I need to. Okay, um... Black Bulls members. This is no, no. This is unacceptable. No, uh, no. How do you? How the hell do you forget? How do? Uh, like... No. No, this is this is very unacceptable. Like this is bad. This is very bad. Come on, come on. I just I just need a rundown of all the members, man. Come on, don't do this to me. So yeah, Yami, Nut, Knight, if you will, a uh, Charmy, uh, Genshu, Zoran, Zoran, if you will, uh, Finrail, Gordon, obviously, Asta, Noel. There we go. Noel was there. I think Vanessa, Gray, Magna, Luck, Henry, and Sigria. So it's not Nero. I'm gonna continue calling her Nero, whatever, man. Uh, and then obviously we've got the other devils that are part of the group, a Lieb, a Gilmordello, I'm not going to remember any of these, Lieb obviously, I'm going to remember Love, but yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> so we got, yeah, we got Noel there, she's standing next to her cousin, um, Noel's cousin, who is Noel's cousin, see, now I'm going to have to look that up, and I don't know who the other guy is, that could be Finro maybe, next to, next to Noel's cousin, or maybe it's someone else, I'm not too sure, but uh, either way, moving on, uh, we hereby bestow upon you the title of Senior Magic Knight First Class. That's crazy, man. Like, this dude's going, this dude's going up the level, like, one year and three months past, and it's like, okay, here we go. And it's uh, Fenrel, uh, Fe 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 Ferelion, uh, giving him the award, I think. Uh, Damatino Donna's sudden disappearance both prolonged the devil trial and slowed down our awarding process until now. Oh, so this guy went missing. So he's either missing or he's dead. Although you have finally been acquainted, I can't deny that there are still many people who distrust you for using the power of a devil. Regardless, you still deserve to be recognized for your merits. I'm more than happy to just be acknowledged by the captains. Ah, oh, that's sweet from us to say that. And when we're seeing the captains, we're seeing the surviving captains, you're only a few steps away from achieving your dream. And now we're getting this big panel of the captains. We got Yami, Yemi, we got William Vungeons, we got... Uh, What's his name? The painter. Oh my god! Like, I need to go. Okay, Black, Black Clover Captains. Oh my god. This is. No. Like I said, this is unacceptable. I need to know this. I need to know this stuff. I need to know this stuff. William Vungeons. Uh, a real, real Bosemata. So, real the painter, obviously. Ferolion, obviously. Uh, we got uh, Silver, is it? Noel? Uh, Noswell. Noswell Silver. Noswell Silver, Noel's brother. Uh, Dorothy, obviously, uh, Jack the Ripper, if you will. Is that is that is that his actual name, by the way? Does he? I'm I'm surprised Jack's not on the is not mentioned on the list. And then uh, Charlotte, obviously, Charlotte. Yeah. So okay, okay. See, I knew I knew some of them. I knew some of them. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's crazy. Uh, it looks like they all got like new. No, they look they look pretty much the same. I think. Uh, <coughs> yes. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Ferolion is still speaking. Yuno is already a Grand Magic Knight. So Yuno's already going up the ladder. Truthfully, you deserve to be awarded the same title. Uh, 
It's frustrating to be below you know when neither of us have achieved our goal just yet. And it reels like talking, wow, my record as the youngest Grand Magic Knight has been broken. <laughs> well then, enjoy chatting with everyone. Well, real, well, enjoy chatting with everyone. There, there, keep real. There, there. <laughs> for real. I'm no longer the, the baby of the group, if you will. Just where did the Wizard King go? So yeah, everyone's just chilling now, eating. Uh, this, this, this is almost uh, the opposite of when uh, these guys got their first award and they went, when they went to the kingdom and everyone was just sort of like crapping on them but now it's like no we're all equal here we're all good we're all cool we've accepted you and the fact even uh, Asta even said that I'm just happy that you guys acknowledge me now like he's telling the captains because back then they didn't really uh, most of them didn't acknowledge him especially the, the 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 team people you know the members of the of the different groups in there but now it's like yeah just where did the wizard king go hmm, well he does have a hobby of sneaking out while transformed yeah, he does. Like, who's in control now at this point? Is it Julius or is it Lucius? Mm. And we're back again. So yeah, I'll stay eating his little food while speaking to... And there's Charmy and there's Noah Ferreliard. I heard the ca that Captain Fergolion, Captain Noswell and uh, Mariolo Sama are all non uh, nominees to become the next Wizard King. So, are we... So is this what's going to happen now? We're going to get... The this next arc is going to focus on the new Wizard King being appointed while Julius steps down, perhaps. And then uh, this new Wizard King's gonna take over. Maybe they're gonna get framed, perhaps. My vote, my vote goes to goes to for, for, yeah, it goes to Fragolion. I think like I think he should be. Oh, M M M M I mean, Merolion is also in in uh, uh, being put into the cadence. So I wouldn't mind my uh, I wouldn't mind her being uh, the Wizard King if you know what I mean, <laughs> or Wizard Queen technically. How does that work? And you got uh, you got Noswell there that has been put on hold for now, as all of us have decided. The Battle of the Devils and Fagolion's continuing the speech. The Battle of the Devils have made me realize how inadequate I am, and my sister doesn't want to bother with her. So ah, interesting. So these guys don't want to be Wizard King anymore. It's like no, no. It's like yeah, the sister doesn't want to bother, which is okay. It makes sense. Like she doesn't really want to take that leadership role. And Fagolion's like, dude, I'm too weak. Like I can't do this. And Noswell's like, nah, there's there's more things going on right now than this. Like that can be that that we can do that later. Like. It's interesting how they're putting certain things aside and like they're focusing on the bigger picture. Really, like it's nice for them to admit their flaws and focus on more important matters. The Spade Kingdom and Heart Kingdom are finally almost recovered completely. Our continent may be at peace for now, but we must, but we can never be too careful. And then we're getting the shot of the Black Bulls uh, manor walking. Even now, we're seeing demonic activity around the borders of the Clover Kingdom. So the Black Bulls Castle is 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 along the borders of the Clover Kingdom. Interesting, so like they're protecting the borders. Interesting. Having proven themselves for us far, you know, along with the Golden Dawn and the rest of the Black Bulls have been sent to investigate. Ah! So, uh, so you know and the Golden Dawn have joined forces with the remaining Black Bulls and they're there at the castle patrolling the borders. Yeah, something definitely is going to happen and I'm assuming it's going to be Diamond Kingdom related because we need to go there now, I think. We've already gone to the other kingdoms. I think it's time we go there. Yami's coming in now with the food, and then there's uh, uh, Finrail joining him. All you guys showed up today just for the sake of our Brad. Thanks a bunch. One of these days I'll get around to slashing him up. <laughs> there's Jack, like, I'll slash him up. And then there's Charlotte, her back turned. Yeah, uh, 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 oh yeah, and she runs out the room. Yeah, because Yami, Yami, uh, she confessed her love to y y Yami, but he didn't really hear. Charlotte's been acting funky ever since we got back from, uh, from Spade last year. What's her deal? Did I do something? Huh. What are you saying? Even though she confessed to you when you were on the verge of death? Like, is there really nothing going on between you two? Oh, so Yami knows now? Fenrir's telling him? I wanted to listen in when it happened, but I was too scared, so I turned it out. Yami looks at Fenrir and is like, I'm gonna take a potty break. Oh, so now he, now, he, now he learns it. Now he learns it. Huh? What's the meaning of this? Charlotte's in love with me? Oh, God. We're getting... Of course, of course, we. It wouldn't be Black Clover if we didn't see Yami taking a douche in a in a in a, in a, in a toilet. So yeah, we're gonna pan on that. No, no, no. What? I thought she instinctively disliked me. That strange feeling for Makai. That was love. I don't get it. So she ran away because she's too shy or something. Seriously, for real? Is she just gonna be like this from now on? Yami, uh, Vinro, Yami, Sama. How much longer are you gonna be on the toilet? We're about to leave already. And uh, there's there's us as family, like. Oh, and Nero is Nero has turned into a bird form, and she's she's sitting on is she sitting on uh, in the, yeah she's sitting on Asta's head. All right, today I'm gonna Nero's like I'm I'm gonna what ever since I realized my own feelings. So now we're seeing you no know, uh, 
So now we're seeing, uh, oh my god, did I forget a name again? Noel, Noel, yeah, Noel. Ever since I realized my own feelings for Asta, I've become too self-conscious to have a proper conversation with him. Good, good morning, uh, dumb, dumb Asta. Morning. And then there's, uh, what's, what's our cousin's name? Jesus Christ, see, I have to keep doing this. Black Clover, no, Noel, Noel's cousin. Mimosa, Mimosa. So yeah, you got two girls who are in love with Asta at this point. Noel or Mimosa is like Mimosa. Like ever since then, protecting and supporting Asta has been all I can think about. Uh, isn't there anything I can do about it? So yeah, both of them are shy. Both of them are in love. Uh, and then N N N Nero pops in and is like she's whispering to both of them, like getting in the middle to me. What Asta's about to confess? Confess to who? Con oh, is he going to confess to Sister Lily? Confess what the to who? Perhaps to me? No way. How amused. N Nero's just stirring up crap. She just did this on purpose to stir up crap. Okay. She knows. She knows who Asta likes. Uh, okay. And he's on the. Oh, he's on the balcony. He's on the balcony. He's going to confess to Sister Lily. Oh my god. Sister, please marry me. I've turned 18. Oh wow. He's 18 years old now. That's crazy. I've turned 18 years old. This will be the last time I propose. I would definitely make you happy. So please. And Noel and Mimosa finally realizing. Like, what? He's been in love with her the whole time, huh? Wait, what? Hold on. Thank you, Asta. You have become quite the young man. We're seeing these little flashes of when she needs to look after him. She's gonna say no, obviously. She doesn't see him that way. However, I'm sorry. You're like family to me. I will only ever see you as my sweet little brother, and so I cannot marry you. I, I guess Noel and Mimosa are happy. I understand. Until now, I didn't want to give up, but I know that sometimes you can't change how people feel. So please witness the this wow of mine that remains unchanged. I will become the Wizard King. Okay, I couldn't marry you. Fair enough, but I will become the Wizard King, etc., etc. So he's giving her the vow to her. She's getting a little flashback. Sister Lady Asta, you really are amazing. I'm sorry, I've never said this before, but now I feel like I can. I know you can do it. <laughs> And now someone enters the party. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's 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 Lucius. It doesn't look like Julius because he doesn't have the light hair. He's got the black hair. This is Lucius. Congratulations on making it this far, but this is the end. The Wizard King appears. Oh my god, what does that mean? This is the end. Yeah, yeah, this dude's not looking like Julius, it's Lucius. He's coming as Lucius. What a way to end this. What a way to end this chat. It's like, yeah, here we go. We're beginning the final and that's the end of the chapter, like, wow, okay, so, first up, first up, a lot of things actually sort of got resolved in this chapter, and a lot of things have been set up, okay, so, you know, is a grand magic knight, he's with the rest of the Golden Dawn, and he's with the other remaining Black Bulls, and they're in the, uh, Black Bull, you know, uh, me mechanical home, and they're, they're basically investigating the borders of their kingdom, okay, check, that's a set up there, resolutions, we got a resolution on the uh, Sister Lily and Asta relationship. Okay, that's that's pretty much been resolved now. She pretty much straight up finally said, Yo, I see you as a little brother. It's not going to happen. But, you know, go on. And Asta's like, fine, that's it. That's the last time I'm going to propose. But for now, I'm going to make another vow. And that is, I'm going to continue to try and become... Well, no, I am going to become the Wizard King. Mimosa and Noel saw this. They finally realized who Asta's been, uh, you know, liking, you know, uh, uh, you know, loving for... But obviously, they also saw that yeah, she's not going to marry him. She, she did. She she declined. So there's still hope for the two of them, you know. So that means we can move on to Asta potentially persuading a relationship with one of them two. Uh, we also got Yami finally learning that Charlotte does love him. So where is that going to go, etc., etc. Uh, he's been acquainted. Asta's been acquainted. Obviously, some people are still going to be nervous around him, but he's been acquainted. Domino has been missing since that entire time, and he's moved up a level in terms of you know as a, as a magic knight. So yeah, a lot of things got resolved in this one chapter very quickly. Uh, it is very, like, very positive uh, atmosphere and environment. Only for Lucius to finally come down, having eaten Lucifero's heart. Don't know why it took a year. Obviously, he ate it before that. Like, we, we, we got the time skip after he ate the heart. So obviously, maybe, maybe it took a year and a half for the power to, to become part of it, maybe. I don't know how it works. I don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, this panel just right here is just, it's just freaking terrifying, okay, like, 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 but yeah, making this far, but this is the end, like, like everyone's gonna be like, who the hell are you? Like, obviously, they're gonna look at it and be like, Julius? They're gonna, there's gonna be this moment of confusion and then the realization, you're not Julius, like, I am and I'm not. Next chapter is gonna be intense. 
Next chapter is going to be very tense. I didn't think we would jump right in, but it looks like something major bad is going to happen right now. Like, there isn't going to be any of this, like, slow build-up to the reveal of everyone finding out that, oh yeah, Julius is, is Lucius. No, 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 we're going right into it. We're going right into it. Uh, it looks like... Wow. Anyway, guys, what an amazing chapter of Blood Clover. I can't believe it's back. I can't believe it's back, and I'm happy it's back, and I can't wait to continue reading. And yeah, as always, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, hopefully I will be better by next week. Uh, I'm also turning 32 next week. So yeah, it's my birthday. Yay. Uh, my life is crap. <laughs> Honestly, it really is. I'm not very happy, but this stuff keeps me happy. So uh, this stuff keeps me going for the most part. But yeah, um, kind of sad, really. But uh, yeah, I uh, can't wait to see the next chapter. I can't wait to read it. And yeah. I hope we get some anime news because uh, we don't know what's going on with that movie and I'm hoping that when that movie comes out we also get the return of the anime soon because yeah I'm dying here like I want I want the anime to come back and I want them to release season freaking 3 to complete box set like what is this I've got seasons 1 and 2 here but where's season 3 like hurry up like it's getting annoying but yeah what an amazing chapter guys what an amazing chapter and I can't wait for next week man I hope you guys like that as always yeah I've already said it so yeah I will see you when I shall see you guys take care Bye.